In the city of Diamniadio, about 40 kilometers from Dakar, the skeleton of a tower under construction looms over the city. In the middle of fields and herds of cows, buildings are emerging, stadiums, apartment blocks, and government offices. This project is the brainchild of President Macky Sall, who hopes to relieve the congestion of the capital and modernize the country. Workers from all over West Africa are bringing the project to life. From Guinea to Sierra Leone to Nigeria, laborers have poured into the city looking for work. The problem that we have in our country, uh, we don't have job facility in our country. Things is not easy in our country. That's why we are here to find our way, to find our living in Senegal. But when they arrived on this construction site, the workers were met with some extreme working conditions, often finding themselves working seven days a week, sometimes up to 13 hours a day, to earn as little as a few euros. Because if you wound, they will not take, you, take care of you. Uh, the day you will not come to work, you don't have no money. They will not give you, they will not mark you for that particular day you are not in that working place. Near this construction site, workers had been living in makeshift barracks built by their employer, a Chinese construction company. But most of those temporary shelters were demolished in November. These Guinean workers, who were living in company barracks, claimed that the cost of their upkeep was docked from their wages. But there's the electricity, there's the water. All of that, that comes out of our wages without the workers knowing about it, without anyone knowing whether it's from our salary. Since his living quarters were destroyed, this Sierra Leonean has been walking three hours a day to get to and from work. The only place he can afford to rent is this small room, which he shares with two friends in an unfinished building. But it's the only way he can afford to keep supporting his family back home. For the month, it's 90,000 news. 90,000, and I'm going to pay a rent house. Uh, I'm going to eat. Uh, I'm going to pay light bill, water facilities. Uh, I'm going to send money every month. And uh, the money that I will be reserving, which is uh, uh, 40,000, the 40,000, I send it for my family uh, to be sustained. After months of working in Diamniadio, this labourer from Sierra Leone describes the abuse he claims he endured. So like every day the Chinese people think like, just started working every day, shout, shout, hit you, abuse you. They hit you. They hit you. They hit you, they, they, hit you, they abuse you. So, it's not, it's not, that's it. The developer of this construction project says that everything is done in strict compliance with the law and that no cases of abuse were reported to him. Madani Tal recalls one fatality due to an accident at a site where he claims that all necessary support was provided for the family. He believes the conditions the migrant workers face are not specific to Senegal. This is a global problem for which we must find sustainable solutions, because all this is due to poverty. When people leave home, it's because they don't have opportunities, they're in a crisis situation, or they come from countries in conflict. For many migrant workers, Senegal's so-called city of the future also represented hope for a better future for themselves. For some, at least on these construction sites, that hope has now turned to disappointment.